And there's a that. So I can change this diaper real quick. Okay, get right back to you. Oh, did you just get a, a thing that I'm live? Oh, I don't know. I might have. Hey guys, if you're there, yes, it is. please be patient with me because um, somebody, oh, somebody wanted me to change the angle of the view, which is great, but um, I can't see what you're, oh my gosh, guys, I really <laughs> wish you could see. First of all, you can't see my face. You can only see my body. Where's the legs? <laughs> Lindsay has Boone, and he just messed his pants. Guys, we're not prepared for today. I'm prepared for today. Lindsay's not prepared for today. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. So I got to do something a little bit different because I can't, um, I just can't do two things at once. So. I'm set up differently so I can work on something and so that you can see more, but I um, I can't see the questions because the computer's so far away from me. So we've got my iPad that's going to do questions, I hope. I'm not sure if I'll see them or not. And, oh shoot. Well, we're going to have to wait for Lindsay. That's all there is to it. So I'm here... I'm not sure who's there yet. I know there's people there, but I don't know who's there yet because I can't see. There we are. Okay. Maybe we'll get it now. Okay. Somebody say hi to me, please, because I'm not seeing it. Lindsay's going to have to tell me. I can do that. She'll figure it out. Okay. So today what we're going to do is... I'm going to show you my beetle bag for those that aren't, um, that haven't seen it yet. And I have a quilt right here. This is Layer Cake Love. And I'm going to show you guys how to fold that on the bias. And I am working on binding a quilt. And the air conditioning's on because I'm under wool batting. And I think it's 90 degrees outside. Oh, Boone's not Come happy, on. guys, for a few minutes. Jeez. Lindsay, I can't see. Oh, wait a minute. I think I found it, guys. Oh, Tressie's there and Gage there and Debbie. Did you find it? Oh, crusty old man beard. Oh, thank you, crusty old man beard. This is a neat pattern. It really is a cool one. I'll show it to you. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Lindy. Or, I'm sorry, Linda and Helga. And Nancy Rinker. Oh, Nancy, how is your beetle bag coming? I was, I have been blown away by the pictures of everybody's beetle bag. They are absolutely beautiful. They are gorgeous. I think they're just wonderful. So, I don't know if you, I know you guys can't see. So, I just have my, um, this is one of my Jenna Kimball um, Fox Fluff cottage needles see i like a really long needle it's quite bent at this point and um my orafil thread i do double of my orafil and then i use my wonder clips to just hold it down as i'm sewing and that's my mess back there and lindsay gave me back my footstool so now i'm good to go again so let's see hi vicky hi ms maureen Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Vicki. Oh, Nancy said the videos are helpful. I'm really glad. I picked out the fabric to do the Maxwell bag this last week. And then the more and more I got thinking about it, I think I'm going to do a test one up first. And then I'll sew one right along with you. So I'll make two of them. Excuse my foot. I didn't realize you could see my foot so easily. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see, what else is in the works? 
I did start working on next quarter's quilt. It um, is actually on the design wall, so I can't show you the design wall today. So this worked out good changing where I was sitting. I've had a horrible time with my long arm this week. Um, I needed a new part for it and the part got ordered and they sent the wrong one. So we had it overnighted because I need my machine running at full speed and they sent the wrong one. So now I have that problem. Uh, let's see. Um, is the quilt I'm sitting on so kind of wonderful pattern? It absolutely positively is. Yeah, this is it. Isn't that just the coolest? I had so much fun. I made it and I quilted it. I had a blast doing it. Yep, that is. Must be you've done one of those before. Um, it absolutely is one. Hi, Dad. Yep, so crusty old man beard, that is a so kind of wonderful pattern. Have you ever met um, one of the, it's two sisters, I think, that own that pattern company. And they're both just absolute sweethearts. They have the best ruler I have come across Jack for doing curves. I um, did it with this, it's a called a quick curve ruler, and I did it when I made that quilt, the one I'm sitting on, and it was, it made all the difference in the world. They said, don't pin the curves, you just hold them. Well, I thought she was full of it. Well, she wasn't full of it. It really made an easy, easy time of putting it all together. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I made this one a couple of years ago, uh, probably five years ago now. Lindsay's looking at me. I don't know why, but she's peeking around the corner at me. I, just, I didn't get to see what, I don't know what color you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't know what quilt you guys are asking about. Oh, that about. one, yes. This no, I one. know that one. With all the curves. Okay. With all the curves. This one has actually been, that quilt I've actually had as my um, tablecloth a couple of times, believe it or not. I, I'm known for putting quilts on my table, which everybody thinks I'm crazy, but oh well. Um, oh, Lori's also doing binding. That's a good girl, Lori. Lori said, I'm working on binding today too. I gotta get this done. This is a customer's quilt. And um, they wanted it all finished when they got it back. So I'm busy putting the binding on for her. I need to do some binding. Yeah. Lindsay has quite a bit of binding to do. Lindsay is learning how to do binding. She hasn't um, done it before. She's, she's picking up it up pretty quickly, but now she's at the hand sewing part in, mm -hmm. and I, and I just keep starting new quilt tops instead. Instead, she just keeps starting new quilt tops. She um, got a layer cake um, the other day to make layer cake love. And I'm like, wait a minute. The curtains still aren't done. You know, I, we got to get those curtains finished. That's what Derek keeps saying. Yes. Derek's going to get upset with you. Hi, Pamela. How are you doing today? Is it hot? You know, guys, I know upstate New York's had a lot of rain, but boy, we went from like high in the mid 70s to 90 degrees in two days. So now we're hotter than hot, but it's supposed to cool down again. I, my husband came in today into the studio and he's like, oh, you turned the air conditioning on. And I went, yes, I did. I haven't, um, we don't have central in the house, so this will even put me out in the studio even more because of that. So, so what else is going on? Oh, Pam says it's in the 90s where she lives. Oh, Barbara's doing English paper piecing. And Nancy says it's hot where she is. Deb says it's hot where she is. It's in the 90s. No, thank you. 
No, thank you at all. Um, let's see what else is going on. Boone is actually pulling himself to a standing position on things at almost seven months old. So it's time to batten down all the hatches in the house and make sure that everything is gone. Hmm. I'm guilty. This binding has been going on for a long time. Oh, Lori says her binding's been going on for a long time. That's all right, Lori. Don't worry about it. That happens to all of us. You know, sometimes binding just doesn't, just doesn't do it. Binding in a cold winter's night go together. Binding in 90 degrees don't go together. They're totally different things. You're not supposed to do the two things together. So that's just mine. Cheryl says it's hot too. I'm wondering, Nancy wants to know if she's weird, if she's a weird one in that she loves to sew on binding. I don't mind sewing it, Nancy, but not when it's 90 degrees. I want to do it in the winter, curled up on the couch at night. My, my husband and I have started watching a um, Netflix series, Revenge. Has anybody watched it? We've gotten through episodes one. And we're about ready to watch episode two of season one. So I'm curious if anybody, way to go, Boone. Deb says, way to go. Yeah, except for Deb, you got to feel sorry for the mother and the grandmother a little bit. So we're one, I'm wondering if anybody, if anybody um, has seen Revenge and, and if it gets good, because we want to know. We have to somehow, when Lindsay gets up, change my phone so it doesn't beep on you. So you don't have to listen to that ringtone. So that's a pain. I forgot I left it on. Oh, Diane Gill, thank you so much. Diane says that she just say, shared the um, Bowen chalk pencil on um, another group site. Thank you very, very much. Nancy hasn't seen that show yet. Well, anybody out there seen seen that show? I'm 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 a little curious to see what it's all about. Okay, Suzanne says it's a good series. Okay, then we'll keep watching it. My husband and I like to watch a series together at night and we try not to watch it with the without the other one there we did it when we watched 24 and we did it when we watched scandal and um person of interest so we've done all of those oh thank you Jeanette for the reminder Jeanette says remember to do that little thumbs up for me please one of the things I found out the other day was that all of the information that's in the live chat, you know, all of our talking back and forth, the people who watch it after it's taped, they don't get to see the real time messages. So they have no clue what I'm talking about unless I repeat my, unless I repeat what we're saying. Um, Diane asked what channel Revenge is on. Revenge is on um, Netflix. So we've been watching it on Netflix. That's where we've watched it. You know, we tend to, to watch a lot of Netflix. Or um, sometimes we watch Amazon Prime. But mostly Netflix is what we watch. Can you silence my phone? Thank you. Lindsay Stan oh every let's give peek a boom. You so can you give a quick needle away? Yeah, I tucked it in. It's tough. Hi, Mr. Mister. Mm -hmm. Say hi to everybody. Here's Mr. Oh, boom, you can't have scissors. You can look well, I better not give you the thread. That's not a good idea. Can you look that way? Can you say hi? Hey. 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 Oh look, mommy's gonna dance behind the computer. Look. Mommy's dancing. Can you say hi? Mr. Boom. 
Hey. There's Mr. Boom. <laughs> There's Mr. Boom. <laughs> okay, there you go back. Everybody says hi, Boom. Hi, cutie pie. <laughs> Boom's going swimming. Yeah, he is. We're gonna take Boom swimming after the live. Um, Karen Binder said. Oh, Suzanne said she watched Revenge when it was a um, TV series. Okay, that's good to know. Karen Binder said, hi, everybody. She wanted to say hi. She's got a birthday party to go to, so she can't stay. So she'll watch the rest of it later. Don't want to miss anything. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I am going to show you guys how we go about um, folding it on the bias so that you know how to fold your quilts. And the one I'm going to show you, which will be a good... Um, way for you to judge how they hold up through it. This one has been up there folded since last summer. So consequently, it's been up there for a while. I have a um, in front of me a four door closet. So it's this big long closet. And on top of there, I store my quilts. So that's where, that's what I'm talking about. The, all my, not all of them, but quite, some of my quilts are up there. I have to, I watch them though closely because there's windows above it. The windows do have that protective coating stuff on it, but um, what I'll do so that I don't get um, sun fading is I will turn the top layer of them backside out so you're not ruining the fabric from the beginning. So or from the quilt itself. So that's what's going on there. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Does that anybody have questions? You guys are being quiet today. Hmm. BJ7481. Does, does that mean that you were born on July? 4th of 1981? If you were, that's really cool. That's Joe. That's Joe? Mm -hmm. Joe, Lindsay must know, because she just said to me, that's Joe. Yep. Okay. Lindsay's getting to know who you guys are. Same profile. Picture. Huh? She's got the same picture. Oh, okay. Facebook and YouTube. Oh, okay. And another group. Mm. Um, Pam Eves asked if Boone's talking yet. He has just started babbling. And I mean just started babbling. Not a whole lot. He hurt his poor mother's feelings the other night. I stopped in at her house for a second. Or I brought Boone back to her because she had to go to Connecticut this week for Lion one day. She had to make a quick trip down and back. And I brought him back and walked in the house and she just grabbed him out of my arms. She missed him so much and he, you know, smiled. He was happy to see her and all of that. And then he wanted to go back to me. So he hurt poor mom's feelings. Yes, Diane Gill asked about the printed panels. Um, and if that was still in the works, yes, I have a slight issue. My daughter took home the pinwheel size patterns. So when I went to work on it this morning, because I only have to make one block, um, I didn't have it to work on. So instead, I made, Lindsay, would you hand me my curling iron? I made something else. Here, I'll show you what I made, guys. This is, I thought it was really cool. Remember I told you I was going to show you how to do something with the extra? And Lindsay, I need you to remember Helga's question for me. Okay? Okay. So this is what I did. I took um, leftover fabric from the beetle bag. This is the inside of my beetle bag. And I don't know if you see how shiny it is. I put that bolsal thermal. Lindsay didn't hand that to me. She just handed this to me. The... Um, Bozal Thermal, you use it on Mittens Polytherm Fleece. Now, the fleece is all I had. 
if I'd had the flat stuff, I would have used the flat stuff, but I didn't have it. So I folded it in the, well, first thing I did was I did three inch binding. See my three inch binding? And I did it as normal binding. I did three pieces, folded it in half and pressed it, and then folded the two ends in and pressed it again. So then I just did two long strips across each end, okay? I did a decorative stitch. I'll show you close up. I did a decorative stitch. Can you, whoa, wrong way, Margaret. See my decorative stitch? I did that so that it would catch it on both sides because I needed a wider stitch. And then I just stitched down each side. And now when I go to put my curling iron away underneath the sink, I can just put it into, hip, into this and I don't have to worry about it when it's hot. I can just tuck it away and it'll be nice when I'm traveling. And I find that it sticks out at the end. That to me is just fine. So I made myself a curling iron bag. I was really proud of it. I thought that was really cute. So I did that. Let's see. Now, Helga had a question. Um, let's see. She wants to know if high loft batting is more difficult to quit quilt on a domestic machine. And yes, it is. Uh, to me, a real, real high loft or real puffy is even a little bit more difficult to quilt on a um, long arm. Only because it, you know, it, when the machine goes over it, they're going to squish it down. And you have chances of it getting um, folds in it. So, yes, it is a little bit harder. Oh, Nancy says, nice idea. Diane Gill got... Um, Oh, Diane Gill got a great deal on a panel. Sometimes, guys, you can get unbelievable deals on panels. Um, yes, Nancy said that I could also put a tab on it, and I could have could have put a tab on a corner to just hang it. But I store my curling iron underneath my sink in the bathroom, so I didn't need one. Um, oh. BJ7481 made one of those years ago, but they made one with a pocket on the outside for the cord. I'm, I'm one of those cord Nazis in my bathroom. So I just took a piece of Velcro and I sewed it. It's that one-sided Velcro. Sewed it on one end of my curling iron. And then I just take my cord, <coughs> wrap it up, and then just wrap it right around so it's right there instead of hanging out and then I can just jam it in the bag so I thought eh, I don't need pockets but that's a good idea I think those pockets on the outsides are neat I've seen them so there's my bag uh, let's see uh, I'm not certain how to pronounce your name. I think it's M M Melega, M Mega, I'm not sure. M E or M A L E J G A. How would you pronounce that, Lindsay? I would say Melga. Melga? Yeah. Hi, Melga. Uh, Helga wants to know so, what kind of batting should I use as a beginner? I would just. My absolute positive favorite batting, I'm going to tell you guys, is Quilter's Dream. And I like the Select. Would you grab me one? The Select is down farther. Is it blue? Mm, select is pink. It is the nicest batting. And somebody, yep, that's it. Somebody asked me what it is about Quilter's Dream that I like better than any other batting around. Quilter's Dream is truly... That's what I stock here in the shop, so I always have that one. I carry, on a regular basis, Select. I carry Deluxe, which is a little bit heavier, and I carry Wool. Those are the three battings that I carry in Quilter Street, and those are always in stock here. But somebody wanted to know what I like about it versus other ones. The first thing that I like about it versus 
any other batting on the market, and I've tried all of them at this stage. I, I'm pretty certain I've tried a lot of them, or I've been exposed to a lot of them through the Lawn Army. Their batting is always consistent, always. I don't care how many bags of this I have opened up. The thickness of it is always exactly the same. I never have had Quilter's Dream batting where I've had any area in the batting at all that it's sparse or that it's over batted, so which would have created a bigger thickness. To me, that is one of the most important parts of it. Because it's so consistent and so smooth, when I go to wash my quilts, I don't care how many times I wash them, they continue to be smooth. I don't get those bunched up lumps in one area, which makes me very happy. That's the first thing that I like about it. The second thing that I like about it, when you unroll um, one of their bats, especially in the thicker ones like the Deluxe, their Deluxe is pretty consistent with warm and natural or warm and white. That's, that's about the same um, consistency of thickness. When you unroll warm and white or warm and natural, you see all these little pills all over it. You don't with Quilter Strain. It's never there. So if by any chance you're making a quilt for a princess in the pea, remember that story? She may feel, feel those pills, and we don't want anybody feeling, feeling pills. So Quilter's Dream is just my absolute positive favorite batting in the entire world. It is consistent. The company is a great company. They do um, a Hopes and Dreams ALS challenge. They had it going on for years. They are, I think, at least three years now I've seen that they've done it. And they're just a great American company. And I am for um, American companies. So that's, that's, that's the batting that I would select. And on a brand new quilter, somebody who's just started quilting and is going to be doing their very first quilt, I would suggest you start with a select weight, which is the pink. Okay. They have it in white and in natural, I think. I always buy the white. The reason being is because sometimes natural can cast a shadow on whites. White doesn't. So I um, use that one. So that's my favorite batting, and that was a long-winded batting answer. So now I'll go back to questions again, if you have any more. Um, I know, Suzanne, I'm having a problem with how I sit. Do you see me tucking my skirt in underneath me? I'm sorry. I do have a slip on, if that makes anybody feel better. Oh, you saw my slip? At least I have one on, right? I'll never forget when Cheryl Crow showed her white underwear on television one night. Um, layer cake, 10 inch ruler from Missouri Star. What can that be used for the next quilt? Um, I'm not sure if it can, but, uh, but I'll show you a quilt. I'm, I'm trying to stand up gracefully. I'll show you a quilt that you can make with those 10 inch squares. Okay, you ready? I'm going to give you a show. Is the layer cake ruler just a 10 inch square ruler? I think it is, Lindsay. I think layer so. I've never seen it. Plate. Okay. This quilt is called Layer Cake Love, and Lindsay has been referring to it consistently for the last week, I noticed. It's la yeah, Layer Cake Love. Yep, this is Layer Cake Love. i got to make sure I stay in the street. Now, this quilt has been folded on top of my bookcase for over nine months, probably 10 or 11 months at this stage. But there's no wrinkles in it. Yeah, there's really, there's a, I can see a couple on the back side, but for the most part, there's nothing. If you folded a quilt straight, and this was under three quilts, all right? If you did that on a quilt that was folded, you know, just regular, you would see definite creases. All right, so I'm gonna show you two things on this one. First one being, here's layer cake log. 
It's a free pattern available on my website, okay? The second thing I want to show you is, see that backing? See, you can see a couple of spots now where you can see the fold. See them? I can see them now. But what I wanted to show you on this, we got talking about backing fabric before. All right, now you can see that print. See the quilting pattern? This is, I think, called dogwood. It's an Anne Bright one. It's very, very dense quilting, really. All right? Yeah, those look like dogwood prints. Yeah. So see how when I was back here, you couldn't really see much of it. You can see a couple spots like right here where there's some dense quilting, but that's it. Now, look at this one. This is um, this is grunge backing. Now look at how beautiful that backing fabric is with it. And you can see the quilting design. All right? So I wanted to show you that too. So keep that in mind. Oh, there's another one right here. See if I can pull this up. See I this one? This is, we call this my Vera Bradley backing fabric. You cannot see the quilting on this at all. Lindsay's picking up after me. Can't see the quilting on the back of this at all. In fact, this is just a jelly roll quilt. And look at that quilting. Isn't that cool? I love this quilting on this quilt. It's, believe it or not, lime green thread. But you can't see it at all on the back side because the backing fabric is so busy. Oh. Okay? So you want to keep that in mind. Mom. What? Oh, I want to show you this ruler. I looked up the ruler. Okay, well you can't show me right It's a one. Dresden plate ruler. It's the Dresden plate it's ruler? a Dresden plate ruler. Is this going to stay connected? Um, no, not long. No, it won't. Whatever. It just has to show you the pictures. The Dresden plate ruler that you were talking about, yes, you may very... Yes, does it go down to two inches? I'll have to double check what. Yeah, you may be able to. Yeah, you may be able to. Okay, so now I gotta figure out how I can show you this and still keep some modesty going. <laughs> it might not be easy. All right, here we go. So I've laid the quilt down on the floor and I'm gonna get down on the floor and you're gonna be nice, okay? So you take the quilt and the very first thing you do is you just fold it in on a 45 degree. See how, which way do I go? This way. See how I've gotten the folded on a 45 degree? Then you just continue to fold it like that the rest of the way. And you are on the 45. And believe it or not, I always take the last fold and just roll it up. Believe it or not, that's all there is to it. And after you've done it a couple of times, quite honestly, you'll never think twice about it. I've seen people actually do it in the air. I'm not that good. So I'll do it for you again so you can see. I did wear a high neck shirt today. I was good about that. I figured I was going to have to be on the floor, so I better. Oh. All right, so one more time. You take one corner, so I got my corner up here, and you just fold that in on a 45 degree, okay? So you just make a little triangle out of the corner. Then after I do that, I always turn the quilt, only because it's easier to work with, and then you just continue to roll. And that's all there is to it. And then you really won't have a lot of damage to your quilt because the pieces of fabric are being folded on the 45 degree. It says the dresser plate goes down to one so, inch. Yep, you'll be able to use that plate then. Okay, that ruler. So that's it. There is how you do it. Now, I know we've got the light from the door behind us, so I'm hoping you were able to see, but that's what it is.
All right, now, close your eyes while I sit back down again, because I don't want to give anybody a peep show here. <laughs> Lindsay took my thread, my thimble. Oh, oh, I got it right now. She took everything on me. I was trying to help you. Isn't it? Yes, yeah, you were helping me. Yep, there is a way to fold quilts. Isn't that weird? I, I didn't know it either for the longest time. I can't remember who showed me. The other thing that you can do is people say that um, do, we all want to fold our quilt. There are actually quilters out there who don't ever fold their quilts. In my, um, my double wedding ring quilts that I'm hand quilting, those don't get folded at all. I literally pick them up and drop them in a heap and let them lay where they lay. Those are the unfinished ones. Those are the unfinished Mine ones. Mine is folded on the bias. bias. Lindsay's is folded on the bias. I made mom fold it before I took it home after we showed it in that yeah, one. Yeah, I folded it for her when, we took, when she took it home. It is a great way to fold them. And once you get used to doing it, you really don't think twice about it. It's really no big deal. Yeah. yeah. So that's that. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing any new questions. Okay, so I'm going back to binding for a few minutes. Where am I, guys? Does anybody know where I was at? I got this quilt all there, just combobulated. So here I go. All right, there's my needle. So that's what's going on here. My husband is over on the land um, mowing. Oh. That's how I found out that the answers aren't there. You guys gave me fantastic ideas for naming our land across the street. For those that don't know, my husband and I bought 60 acres of woods. And there's a film on it, a video on I took you guys for a walk. Well, my husband's over there working on it. And I said, everybody give me an idea of what we can call this piece of land over there because we don't know what to refer it to. So that night I went back to go through the video to look at all the comments so I could tell him what the ideas were because some of them were really, really good. I couldn't find any of the comments. So we still don't have a name for the land. So over on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, Leave me a comment, or maybe Lindsay would start a stream of it. What are we going to name our land, okay? So that we can figure it out. <laughs> Nancy says <laughs> she likes the idea of dropping them on the floor. That's, that's she, what I do with them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one of them, Lindsay. Crusty old man beard said Lumen Land. I think that was the most popular one. Yeah. Okay, you got to do something so that I can have a, Lindsay's got to start a feed over on Facebook so that I can go back with my husband and we can go through them. Um, yes, Nancy, you should absolutely just drop all the laundry on the floor. Go quilt. It's more fun. Um, Diane Gill said she's got a few quilts that were made by my great-grandmother. She dated them 1913. And she puts them in a pillowcase. Is that good? Um, I would believe so, but I would take them out and fold them on the bias. I truly would do that. And Bonnie also said Lumen Land. I think I'm hoping Lindsay's writing these down. What? No, I'm sorry. Nancy says with all this rain, it might be Lumen's Bob. You're not kidding. There were a couple of times that we really thought that, I mean, it was bad. In fact, I, for the first time, drove over on through the path. He took me, I was driving the, um, the Range Rover through, and it was, I got to where the road is, the driveway is to go out to the road, so I started at the back northeast corner of the property almost and went to the southwest corner of the property so crossed the whole thing and i got there and i said you can drive i don't need to drive back i didn't want to 
can't hi I can't see the video um I'm not sure why Cindy yeah, Cindy McFarland says she can't see the video I saw, I saw that I don't know why because we haven't been having any problems in a long time well today at least <laughs> yeah Oh, Pamela Eves's grandmother made her a satin crazy quilt, and it's in a cedar chest. Pamela, you might want to double check that, because I, I heard something about cedar in the past. I don't know if it was good or bad, so you probably should do a Google search on that just to double check. I love crazy quilts. I absolutely do. On the Facebook group, there is Elisa asking where everyone is getting their two-inch rings. And oh. um, so, but they're not two inches, right? They're an inch and seven eighths. Yep. So, somebody's asking on Facebook where to get the two-inch rings. Your two-inch rings can be metal rings, or they can be plastic, or they can be wood. They can be anything but they need to be a minimum on the inside based on the directions of one and seven eighths inches wide on the inside. I will have them up on my website for sale probably later this week. I'm waiting for them. I only have, I think, two left at this stage. So I didn't put them up on the website because I didn't want to put something there that I couldn't fulfill right away. So, um, so consequently, they will be up on my website later this week. I'm just waiting for them. Um, you can try curtain grommets. You can try shower rings, but they need to be one and seven eighths. I think, um, like at Tractor Supply, there's those big cow rings that they have. Those big rings that they use on cows that you that I think those are big enough but you'd have to double check and I'm trying to think where else they told me so basically that's where it is my experience with it has been that the metal ones are just heavy so I personally didn't like the metal ones on my bag I don't have a metal one ours are um metal looking but they're, they're I think they're plastic I don't think they're metal so you just have to look for it it's it's yeah so that's what it is um Pam says she's not leaving it out because she was always concerned that the dogs would ruin her satin crazy quilt that her grandmother made and she worries about the fact that it would have to be dry cleaned so, um, and she doesn't have one that she would trust, a dry cleaner that she would trust with it. Yeah, I, like I said, I would just double check about the cedar chest, okay? And let's see, what else do we have going? Oh, we've got a Lewin compound, uh, Lewin patch, Lewin's patch, I'm sorry. Um, Lewin's lovely patch. Land of the Lewin's. Yeah, what I originally wanted to do with the land when we got it, we have three children and it's 60 acres. So we wanted to split it up and leave each one of the kids 20 acres, but we aren't able to the way that it's set up. So consequently, yeah, consequently that's not going to Boom. You've only got 15 more minutes, Boom, and you're good. Huh. So that's... That's what's going on there. Next Saturday, there's going to be a lot of excitement in the, sh in the studio. A fabric rep is coming up to talk to me about um, all different fabrics. I'm trying to see, based on what your responses were, if I can put together a couple of, like we did the beetle bag, so I would have a very limited supply, like maybe offer four or six kits that included the fabric along with all the notions. 
and then I'm going to have Notions kits, and then I'm going to also have just pattern kits. It looks like the Maxwell bag I went through, and I priced that one out for just the Notions, and so that's all the stuff to make the bag. So it's the purse feet, and it's the, um, you've got to have a real thick base for the bottom of the bag. It's that material. I think it's Tim Tax. And then um, the soft and stable. And there were a couple other things that you needed when you made it. So putting that whole kit together, I thought it was really reasonable. It looks like it's going to be about $40. So I was really happy because it, it was cheaper than the last, than the Beetle bag. So I was really glad about that. So keep that in mind. The next, the Maxwell bag, once I get that done, then that kit will come up. On the Beetle bag, as I said, the rings will be out on my website this week. But the refills are on my website now. I have two of those kits left, and that's all I have left. I've gone through, um, I think, about 60 of them. So, yeah, so that was a good one. <laughs> Lewin's Little Piece of Heaven. Oh, that one's cool, too. Nancy says, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, please. I'm trying to think what else we had to talk. Were there any other questions for this week? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Next week, there's not going to be a live chat, and neither is there on Sunday on Father's Day. So, next weekend, we have a graduation party to go to. So, it won't be then. And then the next weekend, we have a graduation, another one. So, it won't be then. So, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do to get through the summer. Because I don't want to stop these. This is like, I get to go to quilt club. So I don't want to stop these, but I got to figure out what to do so that I can um, keep up with this. I'm just not sure what I'm going to do yet. So there's that. If anybody has suggestions, let me know. I would love that. Red Hood Sewing Basket. Oh, I love that name. Is everybody here that is on this also on the Facebook group. I just wondered. I know there are some people that don't like Facebook at all, so they don't do it. But we found that you can create a completely private profile and then just join the groups that you want to join. And then nobody really knows that you're even on there, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are just part of groups and don't have any friends. Yeah, so Lindsay just said there's a lot of people that are just part of groups and are not, um, they don't have any friends. So what you do when you set it up is, I think you have your um, identification completely private, and then, then you don't get the friend request, nobody knows you're there, and then you can just be a part of the group instead. Somebody wants to see what the Maxwell bag looks like. I can tell because Lindsay's rushing to show me the pattern. Here it is. You want to put it closer? I'm afraid to stand up. I'm afraid for you to stand up. <gasps> My daughter is afraid <laughs> for me to stand up, guys. This is the Maxwell bag. That's the Maxwell bag. My mother has it, and it is the neatest bag. It's a really cool bag. So... I, I, honestly, it's a cool bag. And then the other one that I put up on Facebook that I wanted to make is the just-in-case bag. I have ordered that pattern. It's not in yet. So as soon as that pattern comes in, we will also do that one. I have all the, um, the fabric to do it and all the supplies. I'm just missing the pattern. So as soon as I can do that one, too. Yeah, they're all laughing because you were afraid for me to stand up. <laughs> yeah. Well, she really should be afraid. Oh, crusty old man beard doesn't like Facebook, but they're a member. Need one hint on what to practice on with my new Bernina QO sit-down machine. 
that was delivered and set up this past Thursday. Oh, Diane, shit. congratulations. <laughs> Nancy. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> Have I really been flashing you guys? No, not too bad, Mom. That's oh. fine. Lindsay says I'm not being too um, bad. Paula wants to know about shipping charges to Germany. She Email me. Email you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Margaret at MissMarkersQuilts.com. Right. Email me, Helga, at Margaret at MissMarkersQuilts.com, okay? Or message me on Facebook. I need your, please private message me or email me because I need your address in Germany. And then I can find out what the charges are going to be. Vicki Hayworth wants to know what the next project is. The next project, Vicki, do you want to know the next project that's just a little project or the next quilt of the quarter? Well, they Oh, Darlene, I'm so glad you didn't notice any flashing. <laughs> I'm already embarrassed enough over the fact that I did. The Maxwell bag is the next project project similar to the beetle bag um i did get permission from abby lane quilts to do this one so that's going to be our next project um and the um third quarter quilt will be announced on july 1st and i have sewn the first test block and i have laid out the second test block so i'm getting there on it I have to do it twice. Um, let's see. Uh, what, Vicki said no. Um, yes, Tanel, you did. The Maxwell bag is the next one. Yep. Yeah, the, the Maxwell bag is just really cool, guys. And the parts in it are a little bit easier to get than... Um, than they were for the ring. Uh, it, the biggest issue on that is there is a, a piece of cording that is really, really thick, but I found a place where I can get, um, I think it's 50 yard increments of it, so it'll be easy to put in the kits. Um, you'll be able to order kits as soon as I get my first test one done. And like I said, I picked out all my material in um, I went to work on two projects today. One of them was the Maxwell bag. I wanted to, I originally thought I was going to do it in all different fat quarters. And it just got too difficult because I didn't have enough fat quarters that I really liked that I wanted. So I gave up on that and instead I picked out the fabric that I'm just going to use. I'm just going to cut from a bolt. And then, um... The other, so that's the next one. As soon as I get that done, I will have kits on, available on the website. I hope it will be in the next two weeks, okay? You guys, um, you guys will absolutely love this bag, number one. And number two, I, I have a hard time keeping up with you guys. You guys keep me hopping. So I got to get out this week, a couple of nights, and... Get working on the Maxwell bag. So I, I'll get working on the first one. I'm going to make one off video. So my first one I'm going to make off video. And then I will make a second one on video. And I am hoping to be able to also offer fabric for that one. So I'll offer both the um, Notions kits and a fabric kit. So you can make one just exactly like I'm making mine. And I'm meeting with um, the person that I would be ordering those fabric kits from on Saturday. And I'm going to go from a current line. I'm going to try really hard not to go, um, not to go off base with it. Um, was ha, grateful was late. Got lion's block done. Oh, grateful. Send us pictures or post it on Facebook, please. We want to see it. Um, Redwoods, I need an idea for a quick red present for a friend getting married in three weeks' time. Layer cake love. I'm telling you. If you need it bigger, 
Um, let's see. If you need it bigger, I would suggest Olivia's quilt. That is very simple to do. It's very fast to do. So either one of those would do it. And um, to save time, Jeanette always says that she uses charm packs for the four patch. Yes, Lindsay's right. And technically, you could use a charm patch, a charm pack, and a layer cake instead of cutting fabrics. Yes, you sure could. Well, you just up the square size. Right, Lindsay's right. If you up the square size on Olivia's quilt, not to confuse you, you could use a charm pack and a layer cake. <laughs> Or what you could do is you could use a charm packs for the four patches and then Jeanette always takes her four patches and squares them down and that's what I would suggest because then your quilt's going to be really nice and square. <laughs> Dee says she's so late she was out and about. Mm -hmm. Nancy Rinker says don't you just live with Love. the lion's block. Love. Spell check got a hold of her too. It gets me all the time. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay will message me and go, Mom, you okay. misspelled again on Facebook. I told her the other day, I wasn't going to post anymore because she kept spell checking me. <laughs> yeah. The, the, that's, those are really fast quilts. Either um, Olivia's quilt or layer cake love. Layer cake love is designed for one layer cake and you use all the fabric in. A couple of people have made it on the Facebook group and they both commented how easy and fast it was yeah, to make. Yeah, I'm making one right now. I already got two rows sewn together, or two mm -hmm. columns sewn together. I can't Do wait. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lindsay's making one at home right now. Because I need another quilt to find. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Lindsay, Lindsay's got, an, how many quilts have you made now? Um, this three. Layer Cake Love is my fourth Layers, piece of quilt. Layer Cake Love is her fourth piece quilt. I have the Olivia's quilt for Gina's wedding I have to make. Yeah, but how many are done? You have one. How many? I have two that aren't three done. Three tops. She has three. Two are quilted. One is a top. The, yeah, the. The third one's the top. The fourth one is going to get the tops going together. I think I created a quilting monster here, guys. <laughs> I kid you not. What would you square the charms down to? This whatever size you cut your large block. I think it's nine, nine and inches. a half. Nine inches. It's a nine inch. Block. It's a nine. Lindsay says it's a nine inch block. Guys, I designed that, I don't know how many months ago. I don't remember anything from then. Back in November. So that one's an older one. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's a nine inch block. It's in the, oh, hang on. I can look, I have it right here. Oh, Dee Dee won four layer cakes. Dee Dee, you that's are awesome. so lucky. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So Lori, I would square it to whatever size you yeah, cut. Yeah, it's a, it's a nine inch, the big block is a nine inch square. Okay, so, so the big block is a nine inch square. A nine inch. So you would square up your four patch to a nine inch square, okay? It'll only be like nine, it'll be a nine and a half, it'll only have a square. Mmm, a nine inch star block, Jeanette. Jeanette Carroll's looking for a nine inch star block. She wants to add it to her Olivia's quilt. Ooh, that um, sounds neat. That does sound really neat. Jeanette, I might be able to get you one. Um, I've got EQ7. Email me that you need a 9-inch star block for Olivia's quilt, and I will, I will try to get one together for you and send it to you, okay? Oh, Dee Dee, she was really excited when she won all of those, or got all of those. Awesome. No, she won them. Four layer cakes, and they were all motives. Very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, guys, this is what I need from you guys, okay? Um, I'm going to ask, Lindsay, do you know how to do a poll on Facebook? Yeah. Lindsay's going to start a poll over on Facebook that asks, what night during the week would you like to have a live session like this? Or 
would you like to do it in the afternoon? Because I could, I could reasonably pull off a two to three in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time for you guys. Um, because we've got to change up the Sundays because it's getting, this is getting to be a really busy time and it's the only day my husband's home and, and I really want to spend some time with him. So we got to change this up just for the summer. Come September, we'll take it right back to Sunday afternoons. But for the summer, we've got to change it up so that, so that I get to see my husband once in a while. So, okay. Any evenings fine for Dee Dee. Lindsay will create a Facebook poll for that one. And then she's also going to put a Facebook poll out there the one. for the name for the land. I okay. Did, I already did that one. It's just a, it's just a post. Oh, Lindsay already did the post for the land. Okay. Well, I got this much of my binding done, guys, from there to here. So I did better than I have been doing. So I'm almost done. My, I hate to say this, but my family is waiting for me down at my best friend's house. They're all going in the pool. And, and I'm about to go down and join them. If I don't flash you again when I stand up to turn the computer off. Hey, do you off. want me to turn it off? <laughs> I'm going to actually have Lindsay come around and turn it off. I love this quilt. It's like I'd never think for me because I really don't want to. In the evenings after 6 are good for Angela. Okay. Sounds great, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was a blast. I love spending time with you guys on Sundays. So I will see you again really soon. Lindsay's about ready to hit the wrong thing. Hope the hair nice. She <laughs> found it. Oh, I'm dead. So I'll see you guys again really soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Go have fun quilting. I already stopped. No, you didn't. Oh. One more stop. <laughs> yes. Yes.